Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you a very special program entitled A Musical Journey on the Danube. From Vienna, Austria to Passau, Germany, we make the trip along the Danube, stopping in the old and historic villages and making music in the monasteries, churches, and cathedrals. Our journey is made on a beautiful vessel most appropriately named for this journey, the MS Mozart. Our musical journey down the Danube begins at the port of Vienna, Austria's elegant city of art, music, and culture. After boarding the elegant MS Mozart in Vienna, our tour takes us down the Danube to Passau, Germany. Along the way, we are serenaded with music of all kinds, 
as we enjoy the spectacular scenery. Castles, monasteries, shimmering church towers, and colorful houses. Austria is known for many things, and two of the most famous being Mozart and the Danube. In Austria, the Danube is known as the Donau. We are traveling down the Danube in the newest and largest riverboat or cruise ship, as we have seen it already, in the world. And my very special guest is the captain of the MS Mozart, Captain Otto Ziengrasser. Hello. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Tell us something about this ship. Do you call it a ship or a boat? Or? It's a ship. Yes, and a very it's beautiful M one. M.S. Mozart means motor ship. Motor ship, motor ship. Mozart. Mozart. Uh, there's no one larger mm -hmm. than this one. And especially on the Danube River, it wouldn't be possible to construct a ship more wide because, you know, we have the logs here. How many the, sets of locks do you have? Uh, in Austria, there are nine, but the locks in Austria, they are 24 meters wide, so, and the ship is 23 meters oh. wide, so it's <laughs> just a little space for passing, and this is, and this will be the maximum. We can't construct any more. Any, anything larger. One. And also, I noticed that the height of the ship, it goes down, the, uh, the uh, steering cabin, is this what you call it? Yeah. That's right. And all of the windows go yes, down? Yes, it's necessary because uh, we have some low bridges here on the upper Danube. And then we have to lower all these facilities to make sure that we can pass under the bridge. And so that's necessary on the Danube. What do you think is the most interesting town as we go toward Passau along the Danube? Right now, we past the Sokol Bachau Valley. This is really one of the most famous uh, river valleys. You will find it here in Europe, full of wine growing, excellent, excellent wine growing castles, uh, Benedictine abbeys up there on the hills. So it's just wonderful to pass this uh, area, which is around 30 kilometers. And my passengers told me it's just beautiful to be yes. there. Yes. Well, it's wonderful to be here on the MS Mozart, and we are very happy and very honored that you would talk with us on the joy of music. And thank, thank you. you so much. I thank you. One of the most beautiful times to travel down the Danube is at sunset. 
The Danube is especially peaceful as we see the old castles, monasteries, and churches along the river situated in the mountains. And we are reminded again of the peace of a river, the kind of peace that the Lord promises all those who trust in Him. In Psalm 66, we are told, Behold, I will extend peace to you like a river. A trip on the Danube would not be complete without a visit to the Melk Monastery. Truly this is a monument of faith. It sits high up on a hill overlooking the town of Melk, Austria, and also the beautiful Danube below. Two towers reaching heavenward and a mighty dome of the Melk Monastery proclaim far and wide that truly this is a mighty fortress of God. With the majestic organ of the Melk Monastery, the Canadian Brass join me in playing the Hallelujah Chorus.
The stretch of the Danube from Krems to Melk is called Wachau and is considered one of the finest landscapes of Europe. It is mostly because of Wachau that many people prefer the Danube to the Rhine. It has been said that historically speaking, the Wachau has been settled for more than 30,000 years. On our trip on the MS Mozart down the Danube, we finally end up at the German town of Passau, which is really on the Austrian and German borders. This is a medieval town, and many of the houses and buildings that we see date back many, many centuries. The first settlement of Passau was found in the 500s BC. But when Saint Severin came in 700 AD, he started the Christianization of the whole area along the Danube. In the middle of Passau, we find a great cathedral, which dates back to the 600s. The present cathedral, however, dates back to the 17th century. Within the Passau Cathedral is one of the great organs of the world. And historically speaking, and even now today in the present, it is the world's largest church organ. With its many consoles and divisions found all over the church, it houses 17,000 pipes and is magnificent to hear.
thank you for joining us today on the joy of music as we have brought you a special program entitled a musical journey on the Danube the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof as we have stopped by the tiny towns monasteries churches and cathedrals we pray that you have been blessed and enriched by the beauty of God's creation Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. Diane Bish and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible.